Okay, hi everyone, this is another video on the HTC Evo 3D. This one is just really going to look at just exactly how versatile and practical is the phone. The idea is that this morning I woke up, uh, my laptop was downstairs, I couldn't be bothered to go and get it. I had my phone with me, so I just kind of thought, how practical is the Evo 3D for doing all the things on the phone? That I would normally do um, on my laptop. So I thought I'd just give it a try and I uh, thought I'd try surviving without my laptop for the day and just using my phone. So I did a number of tasks and I'm happy to say that there were no problems with any of them. I was able to do everything that I wanted to do and that included uh, obviously your browsing, um, looking at some YouTube videos some internet shopping and even doing a blog post onto uh, the Gazmeister blog. Everything worked absolutely seamlessly, there was no problems with anything. Um, it was all pretty straightforward and quick as well. Obviously things take a little bit longer because you're having to use you know, your small kind of um, phone keypads and things like that. But overall it wasn't too much of a, uh, too much of a hassle at all. Everything went pretty well. So First of all, what I did was um, I went into Skype because uh, there was somebody in America that I needed to speak to. Um, I've had Skype running in the background all day, as you can see there. Um, it doesn't seem to have used the battery up very much as well, so that's good to know. So I went into Skype and I spoke to somebody in there for a while. Uh, just IM in, I have to say. But I can confirm from uh, previous occasions that this phone works absolutely perfectly in Skype for also for voice calls and video calls and everything. It all works just perfectly seamlessly. Uh, voice calls particularly um, I'm impressed with on this uh, through Skype because basically the other night I was just uh, Skyping with somebody in America just speaking to them on a voice call. Um, the phone was in my pocket, I was using the supplied HTC headphones there was absolutely no problems whatsoever um, we could hear each other perfectly clearly, the clarity was really quite impressive and when you think about it, there I was for a half hour call to the States I don't know what that would have cost me on a normal phone but it was actually just as clear as the phone and obviously a lot more convenient because I was walking around the house doing things while I was uh, talking to the person because the phone was just in my pocket. So yeah, it works brilliantly for Skype, um, whether whether that's IM voice or uh, camera calls. And as you can see there, uh, I've just had a message come in from Skype, so um, that all works perfectly. The next thing I did was obviously I checked my emails, checked about three different accounts. Actually, I had a nice little email from YouTube offering me partnership and monetization of my account. So you should from now on hopefully see adverts next to all of my videos on my YouTube channel. Um, so obviously if you do see something you like advertised there please do click on it from my from my pages because uh, I need to get paid so so yeah that was a nice little email so I checked, it, checked all my emails that was all fine okay, hi everybody. This is just a... as you can see there I've got, I've got the adverts on my site and so on with every video so that's quite good um, the next thing I did was I went into my little YouTube widget that I always have on here and I saw that there was a decent video of uh, Battlefield 3. No, I'm not really interested in IGN's video about the Black Eyed Peas. But um, I'll just quickly show you the, the Battlefield 3 video. And this also gives me a chance to show you how well YouTube works on this phone. Hopefully you can hear from this as well. But another really good thing about this phone is the sound. The loudspeaker on it is great. Even though um, HTC made a lot of fuss about their uh, these speakers and sound in uh, 
Bass GC Sensation. I actually find that the speaker and sound on this is better, it's clearer and louder. So much so that um, I sometimes even listen to podcasts and radio and so on um, while I'm in the bathroom and so on and getting ready. Um, what I do is I put my phone face down so that the um, speaker is facing up. I mean, it works fine. You can still hear it pretty well most of the time uh, with it the other way around. But of course, uh, if you're running water and things like that, it gets a bit loud. But I find that pretty much most of the time, if I place the phone down like that and listen to things through the speaker, it's surprisingly impressive and quite loud. But anyway, so there you see. Um, I was looking at this YouTube video. I thought, well, that's quite good. So the next thing I did was I decided to see if I could post a blog post on my blog containing that video just using the phone. And again, I found that that worked brilliantly. There was no problems with it at all. Uh, of course, all you have to do is obviously you're in the video. It's just a simple, simple matter from here. Clicking on more, share. And then from there, obviously selected to share through WordPress. And there you go. It puts that in automatically. You've got your video in there. I edited it. Um, edited the title and the text and everything. And you can even add your categories and your tags. So, I mean, this WordPress app is actually really good and it works brilliantly in Android and works absolutely seamlessly with this phone. So, um, I'll just show you the blog post that I did all from my phone. Oh, it's not kept it there, hang on. Okay, where are we? There we go. Oh, well, this gives you a chance to see, uh, see what it's like browsing and loading pages up and everything as well. So you can see that was pretty quick, loading that page, even though there's videos here. Of course, this is a page that I go to regularly, so you know there's going to be some, some cash and cookies in there and everything. But um, as you can see, it loads really quickly. And that's what that blog post looks like on the phone that I did completely from the phone. So that was all really good as well. Also, after I'd done my blog post from the phone, I then went into TweetDeck so that from there I could um, post links and hashtags about the video that I just added to my blog. And again, all of that ran seamlessly. Um, I do sometimes have a few problems with TweetDeck, but I also have that on my Sensation. I also had it on my Hero, so I'm, I'm pretty sure that's a problem with TweetDeck rather than a problem with the phone. So after I'd managed to post that and verified that it works great even for posting things to your blog and so on straight from the phone, I decided uh, just to do a bit of internet browsing generally. And while I was there, ended up doing some internet shopping. I decided I needed a, a desk lamp. I do all of my videos here at my desk and sometimes I need a bit more light so I thought right well we'll have a look here and I searched for a desk lamps I wanted one that I could clip onto the side of a desk and uh, there was no problem searching for things on, YouTube, on uh, Google and general browsing this phone is absolutely great for browsing the speed is pretty impressive um, everything renders really quickly there's no problems with flash or anything like that all works just fantastically um, so I ended up finding a a kind of decent lamp on Argus of all places and I ordered it through that and to test the phone out a little bit more I decided that I'd uh, rather than ordering it fully I um, reserved it, checked the stock in my area, reserved it in the local store and then uh, arranged for the notification to be sent to me by text and by email and then I went to the uh, receipt page and actually printed it out all from my phone um, Printing is great from this phone as well. You just select to print something. It will search for any printers that are on your network. If you've got a Wi-Fi printer, it will find it straight away. You just select that, and it, it just prints straight out to it. That was all absolutely seamless. So, that gives you an idea of what you're able to do with your phone. It's, uh, as I say, it's brilliant. If you don't have your laptop with you, you can pretty much do anything that you would like to do on your phone. Obviously it's not going to be quite as quick, not going to be quite as easy because of typing and so on, but it's pretty damn good. I'm really very impressed with it. The verdict is that in terms of 
practicality and versatility this phone Evo 3D is absolutely brilliant you can do most things you'd ever want to do even if you don't have uh, access to your laptop or desktop computer by the way obviously don't forget to uh, subscribe I'll put a link down below this video for um, my uh, blog so that you can go on that and see how the blog post that I did from my phone looks uh, obviously if you're there uh, while you're there subscribe if you want to and also to the YouTube channel and of course if you do like if you do see anything that you like advertised on my pages on my YouTube page um, and when I got adverts put on my blog and everything obviously do click from my pages because then I'll get paid a little bit and I can you know have more time and afford to be able to do more of these videos okay so thanks a lot bye now